This time on Low Boost, we finish wiring up our Holley Terminator X, and then we fire it up. Full disclosure about the Holley Terminator X. In the long run, this is going to be a much better option for the E36 Turbo LS swap. But I do want to point out, they say that this is a full plug and play harness, but there, there was some wiring that I had to do and I really couldn't find anywhere in the instructions or anywhere else that actually explained on what I needed to do and how. So I kind of want to go over that with you guys today. So if you're going to do this, it'll be helpful for you. A couple of the things that I needed to figure out was my starter wire going from the alternator to, uh, to the starter itself. That actually charges the battery while the engine is running. I also had to uh, wire up some additional terminals for the alternator going from uh, 12 volt power and then I had to wiring up some stuff to function when the key is on. So there were a couple of different things and I'm going to go over those with you guys. Alright, so I do got to connect the power to the battery but I think I'm gonna go back to the hole that I drilled through there and through the car back because the original power cable goes there, back behind the seat. So I'm just gonna have to figure out a nice way to get this off and then I'll run it up and through that way. I think that's gonna be the best way to do this. All right, so glove box is out. I'm gonna try to pop these out and try to tuck this underneath while still retaining the rocker panel. Um, I'm hoping that that's gonna be the most effective way to do this. So I wanna maintain the car is normal as I can to, uh, to to look stock. I don't want to rip stuff out. It's, it's going to be a race car, but I want to be streetable and it, have it look nice too. I went behind this thing. There's a lot of space. And you can see where the old uh, battery cable is. Ran a wire through here and then I taped it up here almost to act like a snake. And then uh, I'll just pull it through. See how it goes. Now, after some massaging, I was able to get it through. So now we just got to connect positive and negative to that. So it pops out just a little bit, but everything shuts with the door. A little bit of a bolt. It's not too, too bad. Everything still works, though. So. All right, so I have everything through there, uh, as well as the module for the Terminator. I'm going to run it actually into the car, probably put it somewhere near the dash. Next up. Down in here, I got to connect the oil pressure sensor, my cam sensor, my map sensor, and then, you know, odd and even injectors, and then kind of work my way around. Just on my car, everything kind of goes this way with the Holley Terminator, but my box is in here, so I'm just gonna probably pull some of this back and tuck it, try to tuck it nice and neat. Um, I had to get an alternator wire for my alternator down there because the wires don't, um, there's no coupling for it. So I'm gonna have to run separate power to that. And then to get everything to work inside the box, um, I'm gonna have to actually get the old coupling or something similar to it to plug in here to get everything to work in the fuse box. I still have power going to the fuse box, but um, I'm gonna have to get this in here to get my tack and everything else to work because I still want the car to be a seamless interior, uh, you know, functionality on the car. Every, everything works inside the car and I kind of want to keep it that way. Like I have power steering, I have heat. The only thing the car doesn't have is cruise control and air conditioning. So I'm just trying to keep that continuity. Thanks to my buddies over at Highline Motorsports, they gave me a, a spare coupling that I had for an E36. So what I got to do is I just got to look at the ones that we had off of this coupler that went in, you know, fuel pump, speedo, uh, the start signal, alternator, and then I got to match up where it is on here. Obviously, you can see that the old, uh, there's a lot more. We're going to probably be deleting a bunch of those and then splice them into this. I kind of still ran my wires over through here. I got the instructions for the Holley Terminator. I know they say it's plug and play and it's really easy to go. But in the instructions, there are things that are missing or maybe I'm just stupid, but I'm gonna try to cover them for you guys. That way, if uh, you guys go with the Holley Terminator X, you'll be able to figure out what's not in the instructions. But um, it does talk about these wires in here and I had to get this here to actually go to my alternator. A little bit of tedious things here to do. The coupler I got obviously 
Um, there's a lot of wires from the E36 that are not used for the LS swap. Uh, you know, mainly engine stuff because it has its own harness for it. So I labeled all the ones that I need, kind of going off of this here from my old wiring specialties harness. And now I just got to delete these. And uh, then everything that was in my wiring specialties harness we just like that, so I'll pop it back in and we'll, we'll take it right from there. If you're into any kind of sports car, racing, drag racing, uh, you know, tuning your car. Yes, can I help you? <laughs> Do you think what's your name? LS projects, custom resto mods, or anything involving cars, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. I have over 60 videos in my library currently, and I'm adding more every single week around all the builds that I do with my dad and some of my friends. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. So a couple of things that I have, well, first thing we're gonna start off doing is we're gonna run the alternator cable. The Holly Terminator X doesn't actually come with one, you have to make your own. So I got some loom here to kind of shield it. This is the actual plug that I got from ICT Billet, but I really got it from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below to all this stuff that you see here. I also got a three pack of uh, vehicle speed sensor, reverse lockout sensor, and uh, and a reverse light switch here too. All I'm gonna try to run through. And a lot of this stuff comes through here already. And I've already labeled all the stuff that I need from here and the alternator is one of them. So we're gonna start off with that. I got wire, I got electrical tape, and I also got a label maker because I wanna know where all this stuff is long after this stuff is in. So, and uh, for the alternator, you need a uh, resistor. And this resistor is the one that was, it's a uh, 150 ohm resistor, half watt, uh, that you have to put in line in between uh, where you're running it from the harness to the actual plug going into the alternator. So we're gonna tackle that first. And now that that's heat shrunk on there, pretty good, it's not going anywhere. Still gonna wrap it in tape before I put it in the loom. Oh, alternator's on with the resistor in here. And I'm gonna tuck this over it so it's nice and protected. I'm gonna zip tie this here and then tape it. That way I have a nice strong hold there. This is the alternator wire. So we're gonna strip this down and connect this at the harness for the alternator. Okay, so the three wires coming from the Holly Terminator is the red and the white, <clears throat> which this goes to my ignition, my key that will turn everything on. And then the green one's gonna go to my fuel pump relay, which goes through this thing. Gotta use the coupler for that. And the blue one is my tack. So this goes directly into the pin that I have over there uh, for the tachometer to read my RPMs. And I wired that through this loom here and then tied it off right there. And then I'll zip tie this once it's all done and then tuck it in the back to kind of keep everything as clean as possible. All right, so next we're gonna do the ignition starter. This runs from here to the actual, uh, right to the starter, the little small, little uh, nut that you have to put on there with a, with a round um, connector. All right, so I've got everything plugged in here. Um, I just gotta run the ignition. It's gonna go to this wire. I still wanna try to figure out a way to get functionality inside. If anybody has an idea what the vehicle speed sensor is, cause it's pin, it says it's pin 14 on this, um, but there's no pin 14 on this connector and there's no pin 14 on my other one as well. The wiring specialties harness actually ran speed through the vehicle speed sensor on the T56 transmission, and I think it went back into the PCM. It didn't use this, but I gotta figure out a way to get back to using that or find a way to use the vehicle speed sensor in the T56 to work with the BMW. So if anybody has any suggestions or, or ideas on that, let me know. My tripod is all jacked up, but I really wanna show you guys something, a tip that I found. This is my first time using these heat shrink connectors. They're really hard to get on if you just put them together, but if you actually slide this up first and then get these inside and then push them together after they're in, it's a lot easier to get 
everything else together, which is what I found to be very useful. Because just trying to slide them in and trying to work them out um, after they're already on can be kind of a pain and not all of the copper wire gets in. So that's the way to do it. There we go. Melt it. All right, would you look at that? All labeled, fuel, tack, ignition, ignition start, and alternator. So I'm gonna tie those all up. I just gotta run a connector for my fan and a relay, separate one. Um, and the car should fire up, but I still wanna make sure I button up everything else and get it all clean before I uh, finish it up. For the fan, I have to run a uh, relay. So, uh, Holly Terminator X does a ground terminated uh, relay for it. So I got these relays on Amazon. We'll go over how these all wire up. But I also got some uh, 30 amp inline fuses to go through this. We're gonna run it from battery power to uh, through a fuse, through the relay and then it gets triggered by the Holly Terminator to kick on the fan. You can't run the, that wire directly to the fan. So the solid red wire coming off the ECU, I ran that, and that's actually gonna go to the battery post, one of those posts down there. All right, so I didn't show you all the tedious wiring stuff, but uh, on these ground switched relays, you have 12 volts, or you have a uh, 30 amp fuse coming from the battery to this. Then both this and this get power. The tr well, the trigger from the relay is this black wire here, and that's coming from the Holly Terminator. So you got power coming to the white and the red, ground trigger from the Holly Terminator, and blue, that goes out uh, to the fan and then ground I have to the head. I ran a ground from that to the head, so that should that should cover the ground. Again, and this is the original E36, uh, you know, where the uh, PCM used to go. So I just gotta tidy up some of that, but it looks a little bit cleaner because it used to be a fuse box here, positive battery terminal, and uh, you know, we're running everything through. So now I just gotta clean this all up, connect the battery and we'll try firing it up. In the back of the alternator, right here, is the actual charge charge cable. That has to actually go from the alternator to the starter and then up to the battery post, and that actually charges your battery while you're driving. Um, my old harness had it. This one, the Holly Terminator, does not. There's also a plug that we had to wire up there. I ran the red wire down there. It's eight gauge. Uh, to a terminal and it's going to that bolt or that nut on the back. And then this here is the other one you have, you have to get it separate. The kit does not come with it. Oh, hello, hello captain. How are you? You made it onto the video. She's back again. Hello, welcome, welcome to YouTube. Oh, Stella's up? I guess I need your help. All right, fine. But now I'm done. Guess I gotta work on it later. I ran it through here back and around, over and down, kind of the way that the original uh, harness went, because everything kind of spidered together through there. So, and then that's gonna go down, straight down here. So then we're gonna run that wire, that top right nut is on the existing wire. That goes, that wire goes to the battery post and to the fuse box, and that's where we're gonna attach it to. All right, so everything's all wired up inside. Um, the only problem with my car comparatively to if you have a Holley Terminator X is, I have ID1050 injectors, which are not in the base software for when you're uploading it on the little dash thing. So we just have to go to the website for injector dynamics and put in that data separately. Um, you know, all the, the pulse all right. rate, the, the pounds per hour, all that, all that different stuff that, that shows up on the website. We have to manually put it in with a laptop. So I got Justin here from Savage P Garage. 
Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen them before if you watch this channel, but I'll put a link in, in the description below to their channel. You guys can check out all the builds that they have going on. They have a nines for five build, nine second quarter mile for 5,000 bucks. They're turbo LS swapping of an old FCRX7. So make sure you guys check them out. 1.125. What's 13? Yep. It's the tuning cable right there. Spark? No. Thank you. With me, and you'll be in a world of OSHA violation. Just to troubleshoot, we don't have any spark on the driver's side. And uh, this was a bitch to get that ground on the back of the head, especially on the E36 like this. So we're going to make this longer and run it to the front here and see if that's the reason why we're not getting spark on the driver's side, because we're getting it on the passenger. Holy shit, it was just the ground. The whole time. The whole time. It's alive. We are learning. We're getting learned, Ken. We're it's, le getting it's learning? Learning. We're getting learned. How long should we let it run for? Well, you can shut it off it if you want. You should start right back up. That wraps up everything with the uh, the E36 Turbo LS swap for now. It's ready to be tuned. I can drive it around, but it's upstate New York and there's a lot of snow and salt on the road. So I'm gonna hold off on that for now, but I can start working on some other things in the meantime. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm gonna start doing some stuff to this thing and get it ready for the upcoming season. I'm not gonna do all the mods you think I am, but I'm gonna do the ones that I should be doing and uh, stay tuned for that. So thank you guys very much and I'll catch you in the next one.